how to braise, but I'm not like a professional professional. I always start with getting this big one hot first. <laughs> kind of just heating that metal up, and then I'm gonna apply some braise to it. Just let it melt into where I need it to melt in. I don't want to put a bunch of this stuff if it's harder to get off better just to put a little amount if you don't need a lot and let it run down use that heat and run it down I'm just doing it pretty fast see what it looks like when it's done I want to try to melt all all the way down and around real quick I'll go to this side over here and do the same thing heat up this top get that kind of real hot and then I'll work on getting that pipe and then I'll hit my oh. Let's see what she looks like. Not bad. Can't really see it from the front, which I like. You know, keep all my edges all clean. I'll clean that up in a minute, get all that dust off. But This bumper was fairly easy to make. Get two little flat stock of, well, I think this is eighth by half inch. Kind of clamped them together and used the grinder and made them both identical the same. Kept them clamped the whole entire time after that. Punched all the holes, all perfect. This is brake line, it's hollow. I don't think they're gonna use real solid steel on a semi, so I kinda wanna keep it hollow. Um, I picked this up at your local automotive store. They'll sell it. They'll sell it in rings and spools sometimes. No, that's just a pain in the butt to work with. Some places sell it in strips. If you get it in a long straight strip, it's a lot easier. And then all you gotta do is cut it to your lengths, chuck it in a drill, and just hold it in some sandpaper and get that kind of coating, coating off of it that comes with it from the factory. But he welded all the ends of it so you didn't have a hollow look on it. Right there, it's all welded, and I just kind of made them all pretty with the flap disc. And you're probably wondering why it's angled. It's just because the angle of the tracks is taller, it's angled, so. And I just see a part where I totally messed up. So I might have to heat it up and bend this, push this back in. And right here, it's way more than it, it needs to be out this way, so. so crazy. I think I'm just, I'm toasted with luck right there. I'm just gonna have to let that one roll. Whoa, I just busted a hole in it, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave it. Huh, that scared me kind of. So, lesson learned, who cares? It happens. It's not that big of a deal. One of them slightly off. Can I live with it? Yeah. Will somebody probably see it a lot more now? Yes. But, oh, especially me, that eats me because I can see it bad. Ugh, don't like it. Oh well, it's all right. I can live with it. It's kind of like a rat rod style, so it doesn't matter. But that's all brazed up. That's ready to go. That'll work, cool.